dapat ay okay pala eh kaya kahit hindi naka wifi para faster yung connection pero mukhang okay naman it works yeah are you guys there? <laughs> I'm bored uh, if you have questions uh, send it in while we're waiting for our flight if it's very very hard Randall Chongson will answer the question for you uh, killing time we arrived the air at the lounge at the airport uh, very very early so post your questions below I'll try to answer them uh, but I'll prioritize the questions that are not stocks by request uh, since since we ha just had our stocks by request so please send me questions that are not stocks by request and then we'll we'll answer them uh, as soon as you guys log in as soon as you guys tune in for those who will um, join us late this will be in my website marvingermo.com and this will also be in uh, in YouTube so for those who would like to see the uploads of that you will see it there yet yan Apollo X yes we'll see you in London uh, but wala muna tayong stocks by request just give send me any anything that you'd like to know about stocks personal finance uh, money pag love Randall Chongson the expert will answer it uh, for us so yun, I think we have probably 30 minutes before we actually uh, start no? so are we actually bored so just send them in and then we'll try to and we'll try to answer them uh, what about Bitcoin Michael Salduga what about it what about it what do you want to know uh, si Marie Grace Aquino is asking how am I doing I'm fine uh, I'm, I'm doing well masaya kasi you, if you're with Mr. Randall Chongson di ka masasaya niyan grabe I'm learning a lot kasi he can impart so much information to you in just a few a few seconds no? uh, parang alam mo yun, you're with Michael Jordan kung for those who follow uh, basketball no uh, ganun yung level of learnings that you can uh, get just by talking to Randall Chongson uh, Eden Benzuela may stock smarts ba sa March or April 28 2018 meron uh, I think I think uh, I, I'll be in Dubai kasi for for March no but uh, the other two to three weeks there I will be uh, in Manila so I'll be able to do I'll be able to do stock smarts by that time as well then uh, what will happen to Cal? I Randall Johnson just told me that it will be delisted already. So since it's a, it's not a voluntary delisting. It's it's a forced delisting. Automatic, they will be out of the market. There will be no chance for a tender offer already. So uh, no no chance to sell your shares here. Uh, the only time you can sell it is already uh, from a pri private shares siya. So. Yung dadan na kayo ng notaryo, may abogado na, uh, and you will go to the proper channels of taxes already when you when you sell. So it's not as liquid uh, anymore. Danny Garlitos Cabaltica. See you in Qatar. Yes, I'll see you. I hope to see you. Uh, Luis Delin. Uh, good evening to you from Manila. Uh, Michael Salduga, what are you asking? What do you need to know about Bitcoin? What about it? Uh, June Mercado. Uh -huh. Michael Salduga. What, what about Bitcoin? Uh, again, for those who are joining us asking about specific stocks, uh, we will include that in stocks by uh, stocks by request. This is Roche Bal Balila. Sabi niya, hi daw to Sir Marvin and Sir Randall from Dubai. Oh, hi daw. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, Hello. Any, any, any message for people in Dubai? I'll see you next year. Uh, Money Talks. 2018 and Marvin's gonna be part of that. I'll be there. <laughs> yes, with others like Tony Ross and Salve de Pito. Oh, so very, very, in very, very interesting. At least uh, March, medyo malamig. Uh, pwede ako mag-jogging, pero hindi ako mag-jogging, so hindi rin ako mag-jogging. <laughs> uh, Adimar, any thoughts on CPM? Sige, we'll add that for stocks by request. Uh, Eden Benzuela, we always have the same location. It will always be in Makati. So, uh, there, Kenneth Sangil asking, when's the next technical analysis book? I hope to write it uh, by Icon 2018. By the way, we're planning already for Icon 2018. It May 26. Will, May 26, uh, 2018. So it will be something very different, very special. Uh, expect new things as always. So uh, technical analysis book 2 will come out. Uh, sana March or May 2018. Uh, depends. I really hope I get the chance to uh, uh, write it also. It's been challenging. Uh, 
the Breaking the Resistance book one uh, took me nine months to write because I had to trim it down to around 270, 280 pages. So uh, I, I had to fix it from that perspective. <laughs> Adimar from Abu Dhabi, hello to you. Uh, Mary Grace Lisel Aquino, good sir, see you on Stock Smarts Manila this December. Yes, yeah, see you too. What session are you attending? Is it Technicals, Fundamentals, or our top 10 stocks for 2018? Uh, Trick San Pedro asking for EDC. Again, uh, we'll, I'll add that trick for our uh, stocks by request session na lang uh, probably next week. Kakatapos lang natin eh. So I'll, I, I'll try to add that as part of your vote. Uh, June Mercado, yes, we have a schedule in Qatar. It's actually two weeks from now. Uh, November, I think, 14 to 19, we will be there in Doha, Qatar. Uh, please PM me for more details so you can get the details on how you can register. Uh, Jed Eric Bador, take care, Sir Marvin. Mike Chavez, yes, see you in Malaysia also. Excited to eat uh, Mipok and all of those noodles. Uh, Julen Reaport. Why sudden drop in AC uh, last week? Ah, very, very sneaky yung question na parang, parang stocks by request, pero hindi stocks by request. So to answer your question, um, we've been mentioning this a couple of weeks back that for AC, meron siyang target price at 1-1. It's, it was a tech target price from uh, the breakout of the 900 resistance level. So we've mentioned it for those who have been following our our chart patterns, know that uh, the breakout from a certain resistance level will result in a computed target price. So for Ayala Corp, the computed target price was uh, 1,100 from the breakout of 900 pesos per share. So that was one cost. Then second cost, uh, Mermac, which is the uh, parent company of Ayala Corp. If you, if you think Ayala Corp is the main holding company, there's another company holding Ayala Corp. It's called Mermac. Uh, it's owned by uh, by the Ayala mismo, private com pri it's a private company owned by their family as well and they sold uh, around 7% of their shares uh, to a foreign institution so that's what caused the market to drop down. Uh, what's interesting though is that uh, if you follow our support and resistances level, I, I mentioned that it already hit a support that's why it started to bounce for uh, 3 days straight already. So you can trade that range, bounce from that support level and then we already know that there's a resistance at 1-1 one -one. so sell kayo dun. Next, uh, Jed Bahador, C E I P H E S. Uh, I'll add that for stocks by request. Barbi, Barbados Oxo from Dubai. Uh, Wilma Ramirez, how to join? What do you want to? What do you want to join? Patay tayo dyan. Jay Randall Johnson. Marvin is, is the man. Uh, uh, Barbay, Betus Odzi, Sir Marvin Lodi, Sail, Lunario Reyes. What do you want to join? Uh, let me know, please. Okay, and good. This is an interesting question. Osrit Gayat Inea Apostol. Okay ba ang buying in tranches? I personally don't. Uh, for those who don't know what buying in tranches is, it means that... Uh, Please clarify pala, is it for trading or investing? No? But if it's for trading, I personally don't buy in tranches. Uh, for those who don't know what buying in tranches is, it means that if you have a if you have a specific amount, tapos per trade, hatiin mo pa siya. Uh, some people would do it kasi, for example, hindi sila sigurado sa trade nila, they're not sure about uh, what to do about that trade. They don't, they're not sure if they're supposed to uh, put in a lot of money in that in that trade. Or some people would do a test buy, that's, that, that's why uh, they would buy in tranches. I, I personally don't want buying in tranches kasi for me, pag di ako sigurado sa trade ko, if I'm not too confident about it, I don't like it, I don't uh, make the trade at all. So parang ganun, if, if I don't like it, it, it doesn't seem to be in my favor. I don't uh, make the, make make that specific trade already. So uh, so for me, it's either I buy it or not. I don't try to test buy. I don't try to uh, buy in in. Because the the problem also when you buy in tranches is uh, you buy it a certain amount. Then, pag umakyat siya, bili ka ulit. Then, pag umakyat siya, bili ka ulit. Then, you eventually buy higher as well. Uh, so, I guess that's one of the biggest tendencies about that. But if you want, would want to buy in tranches, I would always suggest that uh, your first trade should always be the largest, largest allocation para... Uh, I don't know, eh, since since it's your first trade, but it should be filled with uh, conviction. It should be filled with, uh, with, with strength, I guess. Something to that level. Next. Uh, Michael Salduga, regarding the stance of China versus Bitcoin, will this affect the uh, the future of Bitcoin? I'm not too sure about uh, how it will go in China, but you have to understand context also of China. They're heavily regulated and uh, yung things sa Bitcoin kasi madami doon na nag, uh, lalabas ng pera sa China eh, kasi dati uh, they would smuggle money out or they would uh, they would they would launder money out for, from their casinos, but now it's easier to launder money out of China from uh, using using Bitcoin already, so I think that's one of the reasons why China is uh, uh, 
uh, put, putting a clamp on Bitcoin, it, it's because they just really want to protect uh, money from coming out, especially from uh, corruption. Because China has had the level of uh, corruption also from some of their officials. That's why they're uh, trying. They're trying to do use this also to at least protect it. Nandi siya ma uh, mananakawan of sorts. Next, Lara jo Lara Joy Franchake is watching. Hello to you, Lara. I'm glad that. Uh, you guys are okay from the storm. Uh, I, I've heard from Randall that he will be in Tokyo also this this April. Soon, so, soon, soon. Oh, Lara. So yeah, he's he's by the way the man, the myth, the legend. No? Uh, okay, Eli Santana. Any thoughts about short selling? How this will impact the PSE if implemented in 2018? Thanks, Eli from Makati. Uh, Short selling is good if you know how to use it. It places a, a shroud of risk though because you have to understand this short selling does not prevent you that you don't lose money because uh, two things. You market natin ngayon is, is you, when you only make money when you buy low and then you sell high. That's called going long. So the market in stock, benta mo, that's where you make money. Going short is uh, the opposite of going long. Meaning if the market goes down, uh, you sell short and then you make money as it goes lower. Uh, that would work very well if you know how to use technicals and you see the stock to break down. Uh, you could put your short signal at the break of the support. So, babalik tarin lang natin. If uh, if sa if sa if if you go long, you buy at the breakout, headed up. Sa going short naman, you uh, create a you short sell at the breakdown from the support level. Um, but the risk naman there is this: if you would do a short sell, tapos bigla nag bounce up siya, uh, you lose money also in that regard. So there's no there's no foolproof strategy for it. But pag nag short sell ka also, uh, since you're borrowing shares that you don't own, you're actually putting yourself at a larger risk. Because if you go long lang, you're using your money unless you go into margins. Uh, how will this impact the market? Uh, I had a chance to talk to uh, the PSE about this a couple of years ago and one of the reasons why they wanted to push short selling is that for example uh, SSS, uh, GSIS, large funds who have uh, say a large amount of PLDT shares na hindi nila ginagamit so uh, the PSE's heart for that is gusto nila parang lagyan ng uh, Parang instead na natutulog yung shares ng PLD to dun, it can be borrowed and used for short selling and it creates more uh, volatile or volume sa market. So uh, what the PSE wants is really to add more liquidity to it. Uh, will it be effective? I don't I don't know yet. Uh, do I short sell? Um, for those who've been following a lot of my posts, when uh, the broker that I have in Singapore allows me to trade US and Singapore markets as well. Meron silang short selling dun, pero I, I don't use it. I always go long and then I, I sell also when uh, the uptrend is over. But uh, what's nice about short selling, you make money on downtrend. So for example, downtrend lot ng stocks or nag breakdown lot ng stocks, uh, you can you can still make money off of it. Ngayon, since there's no short selling, hindi siya pwede. Okay, I hope that answered your question, Ellie. Uh, Okay, Lara sabi niya, hello Sir Marvin, Randall, Arnel Sumowan, naniliwala po ba kayo sa Bitcoin and blockchain is the most important invention since the internet? Uh, I don't know, I, I really think that uh, Bitcoin is, I, I've said this in some videos that Bitcoin is in the middle now that it can be a major currency in the future but it can also be a bust. Uh, Another thing to consider about Bitcoin, it had a very, very significant run up already. That at plus 5,000 US dollars per share, pag ngayon ka it's relatively high already. So it places you at a higher risk kung papasok kayo, uh, may papasok kayo ngayon. So you have to understand that, like any commodity, for example, gold, gold prices go up uh, because of supply and demand. If it gets hyped up too much and then wala nang gusto bumili, it suddenly will reverse down. Uh, yun lang yung, yun, yun yung nakita ng risk doon, pero. Uh, if you try to consider it, Japan is using it heavily because uh, the hacker, the programmer who created the algorithm is from Japan. Uh, Mastercard is also implementing it. Uh, there are more and more and more transactions now that are using Bitcoin. So if you're using it transactionally, but if you're speculating about it going higher, I'm not too sure about it. About yung mga networking naman na uh, Bitcoin that you earn from recruitment and then you get a fixed amount from it. Uh, na kayo na that's not uh, Bitcoin per se talaga. That's not the currency uh, in itself. Uh, Eden, thanks para sa, thanks para mas schedule ko na ang pag-attend sa Makati. Uh, yeah, sige, we'll let you know it's April, April pa, uh, it's March pa, so medyo malayo pa. Sandro Melandre Vire, hi Sir Marvin, how's the CHP still work? Uh, is it still worth investing on? Uh, I've I've been very vocal about it even when they did their IPO. No, I wasn't a fan of their IPO because majority of the proceeds of 
uh, the IPO went to paying off debt. So if it was used to pay off debt, uh, sayang eh. Uh, if, you under, if you get the context, yung kasabay niya last year was uh, you had Golden Haven, you had Shell, and you had uh, what was the other one? Shake Keys. So, uh, basta rule of thumb ko lagi, if majority of the proceeds would go to debt, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. Plus, uh, after weeks after IPO, when they started to disclose earnings, medyo mahina eh. So, uh, companies with weak earnings normally get uh, battered down. And uh, But in fairness to it, it's not just them. Uh, the entire industry, including Eagle Cement and uh, Holcim, also got battered uh, by a very, very large amount as, as well. No, 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 Lara, I'm, I'm actually the assistant. Kailangan niya ng assistant, so I'm just going uh, with him to this trip uh, ngayon. So, next, uh, Tristan Banquero. Sir Marvin, CHP ba? Walang chance sa long term. Uh, bearish pa siya eh. Uh, bearish pa siya. Okay, technicals is telling you it's bearish. So, there's no buy signal there. They are fundamentals telling you it's declining earnings. So, uh, CHP is actually a play where technicals and fundamentals are aligning, telling you at this point in time uh, not to buy it. You have to understand na kahit mababa siya, it does not mean you should buy it already because you don't know how low a stock can go. Uh, pwede rin kasing it can't go lower anymore but kaka-breakdown niya ulit last Friday. And since kaka-breakdown niya, uh, it may still have some juice uh, headed down, especially na merong uh, bad news na nangyari sa kanya. Next, D Davo Mariano asking for VLL. Will include that in stocks by request? Alfi Soriano. Sir Marvin, sorry to bother you late this evening. I'm currently studying stock trading and its concepts. If I may ask, and its concept, if I ask you, what do you recommend regarding indicators in the stock? Uh, ako kasi, I'm not like most of the people who attended the sessions na uh, yung mga oscillators and yung all of the rudiments and technical analysis, they learn everything in one go. Ako hindi, I had to learn them one by one through the year. So, default ko lagi, I normally draw my own support and resistance, then uh, I draw my trend lines, then that's when I that's when I overlap yung moving averages, then I put MACD on, then depending on the situation, I either put uh, volume oscillators, I either put uh, RSI or ADX, depends on what I actually need. Uh, I use parabolics or also on Bollinger Band. So, uh, it depends on the situation and it depends on if I want to do a quick trade or a uh, position trade as well. Uh, paano mag-invest sa Bitcoin? Uh, you, you can, the, the, the best entry point is may mga Bitcoin wallets na naka-app but, but you have to fund it. Uh, uh, you have to fund it. Safe by Bitcoin, to be honest, you have to study it also. Uh, we're, we're not too sure also ano magiging, uh, what, what, with, what it will be in the future ready. Eh. So let, let's, let's see. Uh, it's, it's, I guess, still, still too early. Eh. Uh, madami pang pwede mangyari with regards to Bitcoin. So there, uh, Greg G-Boy, is it still okay to apply averaging to a poor stock such as CHP plus Y? Uh, this was addressed in an early question, no, but I'll answer this in general also. If the stock is bearish and fundamentals are bad, kahit kano siya kamura, please avoid the stock. Uh -huh. Ostrich, Apostol, thank you Sir Marvin. Uh, Zenet Reveal, which is better mutual fund or VL. Ayan! Let's let Randall Johnson answer this question. This is his ex- Expertise. Oh, okay. Which is better daw, mutual fund or VUL? Depends. Depends on the need talaga. I always say that uh, VUL is good if there's a need for both insurance and investment at the same time. And you want to be, uh, you think it's convenient for you, it's um, it's something that you understand, it's it's those things, no? May mga advantages, disadvantages yan. Uh, mutual fund, means if you're really just investing purely, on just investing purely and you don't need insurance then and of course a uh, mutual fund or UITF will be better or you know what Marvin says by you know stocks that you like so that's my that's my idea okay yeah ako ako follow him very very important ako binago niya buhay ko talaga uh, in terms of uh, investing so pero if you would rank it meron bang ranking yan ano ba dapat kailangan unahin mutual funds or VUL or pwede pagsabayin well Again, depends. Because uh, VUL is an insurance product, so you need to have a, a need for a life insurance product, you know, like may ma dependent on you, you know, for income protection, for sickness and all this. It's important. So then, of course, if that's the case, then VUL is good. Or some people will buy just term and invest a different. So again, these are just strategies that are maga pinabagay. And I always say that there's a principle of suitability, uh, whether VUL is better or or it's really dependent on what is suitable to you and you need to understand you know which 
wala namang best no but really more what is more suitable and more something that are mas appropriate for you Okay, so like what he would always say, money is relative. The more money you have, the more relative you have. Mo benta lagi sa akin yun, lagi ako tumatawa every time I hear, every time I hear that. Uh, Michael Seduga, thank you for the insights. Sly Reyes, sorry, watch your videos because I'm very much interested to put money in a good investment. Okay, yeah, 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 go for it. Keep, keep on investing. Keep on investing. Keep on learning. Uh, your greatest asset is yourself. Huh? Uh, you can ako para sa akin, you can never grow as far as what you know inside so just keep on learning keep on reading it doesn't need, even have to be my book just go for his book it's amazing it's an amazing book in finance and investing so uh, read blogs read videos attend seminars uh, try to educate yourself kasi pagdating sa ano eh, pagdating sa investments pagdating sa pera pagdating sa business labanan diyan gaano kadami alam mo dito kasi it will help you make it can differentiate you from a scam or not it can differentiate you from buying a stock like Kalata, buying a stock like FGEN, buying a stock like CHP as compared to buying stocks that are amazing like BDO, AC, uh, Ali, SM Prime Holdings, Pure Gold, stocks that are doing really, 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 really good. Uh, Ostrich Apostol is asking, which is better to cut loss or averaging down? Uh, if you're investing, uh, if you're investing, fundamentals are intact, the stock is still cheap, average down, but don't just average down for the sake of average down, average down because uh, it's it's part of your plan to average down. If you're trading, you must cut loss, especially if the support is broken. So again, it depends on your strategy, it depends on uh, what you plan to do at the end of the day, what's your, what's your general scheme. Again, for those who are joining us just now, uh, this is a question and answer portion, our flight, we're just waiting for our flight to uh, start. If you have any questions, just post it. If I can answer it, I'll answer it. If I can answer it, we have the expert right here, Mr. Randall. Uh, He's not. <laughs> so, so there, uh, Pong Palmar, sir, sir, why do we want PSEI to go higher when you own individual stocks? Man. Uh, in interesting question. Um, the PSEI is a benchmark, it's a reference point. The reason why uh, I discuss it in all of those these videos, it's really more for reference purposes for a lot of people. So if you follow the PSEI, uh, it, it, it gathers and touches a large amount of people, a broad amount of people already on when, on if they have a... Uh, to, at least for them to have a benchmark already on what's happening on their investments. Because uh, just just to let you know also, those that follow these videos are not just people who buy individual stocks, but you have a, a I guess a, a large amount of people who also who just buy funds, buy index funds, and just buy the market in general. Uh, not a lot of people buy individual stocks. You have to remember, uh, Ijong Palmar, uh, you're part of the less than 1% population who's invested in the stock market. So. Uh, it's not that large amount yet of Filipinos. When I started investing uh, 10 years ago or more than 10 years ago, uh, we had less than 1% of the Filipino population invested in stocks. Fast forward to where we are now, less than 1%. Pa rin. What does that mean? The population growth rate is much, much faster than the growth rate of Filipinos investing in the stock market. But uh, to give you perspective, no, there's more Filipinos investing now in the market as compared to before. Uh, value turnover pa lang, obviously. When I started out, 2 billion pa lang average value turnover. Ngayon, we're hitting 6 to 8 billion already. It's not as high as what uh, other countries are getting. It's very, very low actually, but it's much, much better already. So uh, more of us investing, that will be actually better for the markets in general. Uh, Re-engineering brand. Ano to? Hindi ko to mabasa. Anong sabi niya? Ah, uh, can't read it. Parang uh, Italian, French or something. Eh, uh, Del Mondo para... Uh, parang Italian. Sounds uh, Italian. Parang Italian eh. So, bonjour. <laughs> I don't even know what... <laughs> Kaya nga eh, bonjour is French. Buongiorno. Cafe au lait. <laughs> good. Mark Lendel Pansugolan, good evening to you too. Uh, my question dito, uh, one of one of our Kababayans who came from Dubai and he's, who's now here in Manila, uh, si Jeremy Lontok, my question siya. Hi Marvin, just wonder how, how the market will perform next week, which is a short trading week, safe flight back. Of course, we cannot uh, we cannot guess what the mar what will happen to the market, though, but there's a couple of things that I know. Uh, it failed to break out of 8.3, meaning the 83 na level now is now our resistance we failed to make it a support so a possible retracement to 81 may happen if it does not go above 8300 pesos per share and uh, if you've noticed in the past no pag pag ano yan pag how do you call this uh 
pag short trading week uh, volumes are relatively low so uh, if, if it maintains that way if it becomes very very low you can expect that uh, there won't be a lot of conviction uh, in the stocks that we're having so Zo Ahmed Cabilda is sir is RLT will sling shot next week we'll try to add that for stocks by request no uh, Renan de la Cruz sir Marvin okay bang Okay ba na bili lang ako na bili ng blue chips like MPI, BDO, SMPH every month till till 2017 to 2019. Uh, for me, uh, if you will do that, uh, you are an investor. So if you are an investor, your timeline is very, very long. And 2017 to 2019 may not be a very, very long timeline, especially if you will buy now where the markets are very, very high, very, very expensive. Uh, that that will work sana if your time frame is longer than that. However, for two-year time frame, it's not as attractive. Number, number two, uh, Jollibee and BDO are at high levels already. Uh, their valuations are expensive. Uh, you have remember you have to remember pag it's a stock market no it's not just about buying a good company but buying it at a good price no there's no doubt bdo and jollibee are great companies but you're not buying it at good prices anymore uh, so so there if you want to have a two year duration better find stocks that are cheap or better trade the markets as well or if it's very very short baka it might not be a good idea to put it in the market and uh, that goes well with financial planning bakit paano pag two year investment what do you recommend uh, stay as liquid as you can. Okay. Um, I mean, if that's uh, I, we have that horizon very low, so unless you're willing to take a lot of risks, but if not, then maybe you're better not investing. Two, two years a short period eh, for investment. Mm. So, uh, at, at the end of the day, it will go back also to your financial goals. Eh? So, uh, it's very very specific that you follow your financial goals very well if you need the money in two years and eh, what if after this one a3 bigla tuloy tuloy bumagsak yung market to 6.5 you have to understand the context uh, at this time last year the market was 6,800 it even went lower to 6.5 so from 6.5 to 8.5 we've already hit great strides and laki na rin ng market natin uh, ngayon so you, you have to take that into consideration that what goes up must go down alright Oi, boarding na kami. Can, can you say that again? Boarding na, boarding na. Sige na. Boarding na, boarding na. Say it again, say it again, say it again. Boarding na daw kami. Boarding na, boarding na. Say it again, boarding. Boarding na. Boarding na. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, I guess that's it. We're boarding in for Manila. Thank you so much for uh, everyone who participated in this Facebook Live session. Uh, I hope uh, this helps, you know, to you guys who have been joining and uh, have been part of this video series. Thank you so much. It's always been an honor so next week stock smarts malaysia mm -hmm. after Mal stock smarts malaysia we will be in stock smarts sydney australia then stock smarts Doha, qatar then stock smarts uh, singapore then we will end the year with stock smarts Ma manila and taiwan so uh that's it for now i'll be out for an hour uh, flying back to manila thank you so much to everyone in cebu who joined us and i'm announcing we will be in dubai this february for stock smarts uh, i'm excited to see you all god bless you and have a great day ahead. Tomorrow is Sunday. Spend time in church, spend time in family. Uh, try to rest. Uh, resting is, does not mean you're tired, but knowing that uh, God is your source, God is your provider, everything will be well. It's a new week. It's a time to recharge. It's a time also for you to uh, reflect on how you can make your lives even better. Because I really believe in the Filipino, and I really believe that your greatest days have yet to come. God bless you, and have a great night ahead.